Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Dearly senior citizen here, greetings boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends, and welcome to this, a brand new day, and remember, well, brand new evening, and remember, no matter who you are, you are valid, and thumbs up, uh, I have had a day, I've been primarily watching videos, I fell asleep for a time in my chair, Ugh, always fun when that happens, but have not been doing much past that, chatted with some people online, after my walkies this morning, I just did the four shorts videos. I don't do a lot of shorts videos. I don't do, you know, a lot of short form stuff. And I don't really consume a lot of short form content. So, you know, life is life. But thank you if you watched and if you didn't. Hey, that's why I'm doing this. I, I like to say something. And I, I always have something to say, even if it's boring and awful, which I quite frequently accuse myself of being, but I am a human being, which means by default I will be boring and awful. We all are, because we're human. It's nothing terrible, you know, it's we are backwards, stubborn, we we don't change our minds, we're set in our ways, we're we are just absolutely terrible, terrible creatures. And that is wonderful, because that's what we are. We're human. You know, revel in being who you are. A human being. That's a good thing. But I have been mostly taking it easy, other than going on walkies and watching videos. I occasionally do play a game, but not many and not much. I have to, there's this one game that I play, but it's uh, like playing it on half speed and doesn't play any faster than that. I mean, at least it plays and it's entertaining of a sorts in that fashion. But, you know, so I play some stuff. I go for walkies. I watch videos. Today I have not done a whole ton other than just watch videos and fall asleep, so thumbs up on that. One thing I have determined, because uh, as you saw, I went on my walk, well, if you watched the videos you saw, I went on the path that goes by the stream, but when I got up and off the path, I was taking a, uh, well, I'll talk about the whole uh, side of your body and, you know, which side is dominant in a moment, but I was able to determine that the hamstring in my right leg does need to be stretched out. It was a little tight, so I'm going to have to work on stretching that out again. Oh boy. But on the whole dominant thing, you do have not just a dominant hand with, you know, your right armed or left armed, you know, with right hand or left hand. You also are right legged and left legged. And just like I'm confused with, you know, if somebody tosses something to me, I don't know until my hands move which arm I'm going to try and catch it with. So I have knocked things into my body and gotten hurt because I used the wrong arm and it smacked inward instead of outward and I got hurt. That's the way life is. But also, you have a right leg and a left leg. Well, duh, but a dominant and non-dominant leg. And just like with my right, with my, oh God, I'm using all that. Just like with my arms, where I don't know which one is my dominant and non-dominant, it's the same thing largely with my, my legs. I don't really have a dominant side. I can choose, and it was a weird feeling because I was playing around with that. Because it's like a little switch in my head where I can flick it to the right and I can feel the clunk and then I'm right-legged. And when I can tell with that sort of feeling because I, with the right-leg, left-leg thing, <sighs> dominant and non-dominant. When it's dominant, it feels like I am stretching forward with the dominant leg and then using my non-dominant leg to catch up so that my dominant leg stretches forward. And that's the way it feels, whether or not that's actually how it happens. When I hit that 
right side is dominant, it felt like a whole switch going clunk. And then I was right-legged. I was stretching forward with my right and bringing up to catch up with my left. And then when I said, well, let's flick it over to the left, clunk. I was reaching forward with my left and bringing up again with my right. So that's a weird feeling, especially I was playing around with that. And in mid-swing, I went from dominant is the left and then into dominant is the right. And that switch going click as I was making that step. It was a weird feeling. And it's kind of a weird feeling to be able to swap which side is dominant that way. But there you go. I'm about... 49% left-handed, 51% right-handed, and everything I can do with my right, I can do with my left except write quickly or sign my name, which really helped, one of those boring stories, really helped back when I was in the Air Force because I worked in finance where you we were calculating travel vouchers. So you had a calculator at your desk and your pens and you did your writing. Everybody else in my office who were right-handed, which was everyone, they had to pick up their pen, do their writing, put their pen down, do their calculating, pick their pen back up, write, put their pen back down, hit the calculator. I just scooted the calculator over to my left, so when I needed to do calculating, I looked over did the stuff with my hand, read the result, looked down at the form, and rubbed it in with my right hand. So, it was nice being able to do that. Does it help me in any way, shape, or form in my life past that? Not really. Other than the fact that, yeah, I'm, I don't really know which hand is my dominant hand at any given moment. <laughs> which... It wasn't really an issue until almost 10 years ago now when I severed my right radial nerve which connect, connects and controls your hand, specifically your fingers and more. So when I severed my radial nerve, my wrist just flopped over and my hand fell down and it did not work. And my left hand took up entirely, so I was like, you know, 98% left-handed and 2% the hand that didn't work. Over the years, it has healed up so that it's almost completely healed. I still have issues right now. My hand, my arm hurts just because of the uh, nerve severing. After all these years, there's still a little bit. So, not much, but yeah, I can tell. Yay. So, that's, that's just something I'm mentioning. If you do sever a nerve, they do heal. They grow back at the rate of about a millimeter a month. So, you want to keep your hand, if it's a, like where I severed my radial nerve, about two inches above my uh, right elbow. You want to keep your hand in the position that you want it to be as the default when it heals. Now, if that doesn't sound like normal and sounds kind of weird, it's like your normal position that feels no uh, pain or struggle to hold it in there is roughly if you hold your hand hor arm horizontal with your hand out straight, that's the way it feels. That's the default position. But if you let your hand dangle as the nerve is separated and then it heals that way, that dangle is the default position and you will have to work to keep it upward in that extended position so i had to make sure i kept my hand up and all those times that it wasn't working and me with my anxieties and my hand not working i had very ramped up anxieties during those years and I was doing reactions and vlogging at that time, so trying to keep my brain from freaking out. Yay on that.
Well, holding the tablet up like this is uh, very tiring for both my hands, which are in weird positions to hold the tablet, and for my arms, where I'm holding the tablet up so that I can uh, talk into it. So, I thank you very, very much for uh, having watched if you watched this far. If you have watched this far, if you could write melatonin into the comments to let both me and the YouTube algorithm know that somebody watched this video. And if again, just for me, if you have watched the video, thank you so very much. It is appreciated. Especially each and every one of my Patreon patrons and everybody who has left me a comment. You are all beautiful and awesome people. Thumbs up. Thank you. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is indeed a very good thing. Whew. Now to upload. Well, edit through light cut. Yeah, so... Have a good day.